What up, y'all? What up, my green kitty? So, listen, okay? I don't want to hear nothing. I'm being consistent. Okay. So, remember I told you guys earlier that um, I make two dinners at one time. Like, if I'm going to cook, I'll take two things out instead of one, one thing, right? So, I had took out the ground beef because I was going to make burgers earlier. But because I went grocery shopping and I didn't get back into the house late... Um, we end up eating out. So, I'm going to make something right now. I was going to make meatloaf, but I forgot my husband. I had him take out the roast. So, I no need to make meatloaf because I'm going to make roast. And I got to figure out what I'm going to do with the, with the ground beef. Didn't I tell y'all to stop running and go to bed? Didn't I say that? I see you walking. So, understand when I'm done, we're going to have a problem, Okay. It's no hunt. It's go to bed. Why do... Hold on, y'all. Why do you keep... Why do I see y'all walking? Didn't I say go to bed? Okay, so do that now. My bad, y'all. <laughs> and I don't know how to edit, so work with me, y'all. But um, what's up, Green Kitty Cats? Make sure you guys like my video. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you share my videos. Make sure you leave me in the comments down below if you want me to do more cooking videos. Um, I did rant a little bit on Kevin Samuels and us black women and all of that. So hopefully y'all like the video. If not, I know I'm going to read the comments and it is going to be what the fuck it is. You feel me? But it's my truth. It's my channel. I say what the fuck I want to say. And that's just period. But it's never an argument. It's always a discussion. You guys can always change my mind. And that's just what it's about, right? We're gonna talk a little about we're gonna talk a little about a little bit about everything, okay? Anyway, so I'm gonna show y'all a little bit what I'm doing to my roast, okay? Um, this is really quick roast because I forgot that I even had it. It's 12 o'clock at night. I have not taken my clothes off. I still have my clothes on that I had on today. I'm kind of tired and I already got to deal with ground beef. Okay, so um, meat tenderizer, unseasoned. I use this meat tenderizer unseasoned. I've already put it in here because y'all know I ain't got no teeth. Even though my crock pot will make it fall off and on bone but it'll make it very tender i still like to make it a little more tender just more and more and more just because i don't have teeth in my mouth and it's really easy for me to slide so i love meat tenderizer if you don't got no teeth meat tenderizer is your best friend okay i got like a lot of these okay and i get unseasoned um because i'm a seasoner so there's no need i need somebody else season because i got this shit on lock okay so that's what it looked like I've already washed it. My hands are clean. I've washed my hands, as y'all can see. I don't fuck around with dirty hands, okay? I have a very clean kitchen. I don't play that shit, okay? Um, so, just so y'all can see it, I have a very clean kitchen. I don't I don't fuck around. I'm going to be putting it in my crock pot. I've already turned my crock pot on. This is my ground beef. I don't know what I'm going to make with this. I'm going to make something with that. So, I don't know. But, yes, my cabinets are clean. I mean, my top of my counter is clean. I don't fuck around with dirty shit. That's just period. Okay? I have two dishwashing liquid. I use Dawn liquid soap to wash my hands. I got some of that over there. Okay? My kitchen. Uh, yeah. Before I cook, my kitchen got to be clean. Okay? Just so y'all can know. I ain't no dirty bitch. Period. All right, so my seasoning, garlic. Now, my husband has high blood pressure, okay? So I don't use a lot of salt on my meals, okay, um, at all. A lot of things that I use are grounded powders. It's never salt. You know, I do throw a little salt on something. Some things you need a little salt on, but mostly I use things that's just not salt. It's always powder. So right now it's garlic powder. Um, because it's a big old roast, I'm going to just do it like this because I ain't got time. <clears throat> I said go to bed, you guys. All right, y'all gonna get in trouble. Y'all gonna get in trouble is what y'all gonna do. It's going to get in trouble. So I rub it all in. What I forgot at the store, you guys, is paprika. I love paprika because it makes it a different, a pretty color. I don't have no paprika, but I can't let that stop the show. Okay, so I ain't gonna let that stop the show. Um, sometimes I put carrots and potatoes and all that, but because I didn't know I was cooking this, um, I didn't. 
I didn't do all of that. So I don't know if I got potatoes in there. If I do, cool. If I don't, then we just not gonna rock like that. This is my garlic, I mean my onion powder. I'm gonna show y'all. Y'all can't really see because how I got the phone. So y'all just gotta look at, at me. So this is how I'm rocking right here. I got my garlic, my onion. Okay. Um the W sauce, Whiskershire sauce. I love this name brand of Whiskershire sauce. I love it. Um, I get it from Sam's Club. It comes in two of them for like maybe eight dollars, six dollars. I don't know, but I love this name, this name brand of Whiskershire or W sauce, however y'all call it. I put this on here like that. Okay, to me, it just makes your meat flavorful. I love this. Like this to me is is just amazing. Okay, so I put it there. Okay. Now, usually I will clean it. I mean, clean it. I, usually I will um, put it on a different situation. But because I'm doing this kind of quick, because I'm kind of tired, um, I didn't have to put this. I'm seasoning it in the, in the pan. I didn't, you know, so it's not that big, but it's okay. It's all right. Okay, so anyways, hopefully you guys had a good day today. How y'all day go? This is garlic pepper seasoning. And then y'all let me know how y'all do y'all rose. Okay, this is a rose, so y'all let me know how do y'all do y'all roast, okay? This is a, like I said, garlic pepper. I don't put a lot of this because it seemed like when pepper is mixed with something, it seemed like they put like a lot, like, I don't know. It just seemed like pepper, it'd be like a lot of pepper and pepper is kind of spicy. And y'all know I can't eat spicy food. So when it comes to pepper, Things that's mixed with pepper, I don't attend to use a whole lot of it because um, I don't do well with spicy food. Okay, now I'm going to put a little bit of this caramelized onions on it. Only because we love onions and bell peppers and all that and all of that. So, um, I love it. So, and it tastes really good. If anybody ever tastes this, um, caramelized onions, it's, it tastes like, it's so good. It has like a nice little flavor. Okay. Now, I can do either one. I can do this one for my seasoning or this one. And this is salt. So, we know that Whiskershire is kind of salty. So, we got to be careful with that, especially people who has, have blood sugar, uh, high blood pressure, blood sugar, high blood pressure. Um, so, this one, this is kind of salty. You know what I mean? So, I did put some of this. So, I try to be mindful of what I put in his meal. You know what I mean? Um, everything else that y'all see me put have been powder. So, that's not going to hurt anything. Now, this right here is salt. Also, I'm going to be using, um, I think... I'm going to be using a uh, chicken or beef broth and beef broth is also also salty even though i use the one with low sodium but it's still salty so i still gotta be mindful of all that so i when it comes to salt i use either which one um i like both of them they to me they both do the same thing but because i don't have paprika and this one has a nice color on it i'm going to use this one because it will turn my meat a different color and i don't have paprika and this one won't, okay? So that's the only reason why I'm using this one. I'm only gonna do it on one side. I'm only gonna hit a little bit. Because salt is important, okay? You, you know, you gotta have a little bit of salt now. So that's on one side. All right, bam. It's a big piece of nice, beautiful roast. Um, Yeah, so I'm gonna show you guys what it looked like, okay? So. I am not putting it in the refrigerator so it can all marinate. I ain't got time for all of that. So this is what I do. And these are all my seasonings. They're going to all come together. And I already did the other side with something else. And then I did this with this side. And it just looks pretty to me. And yeah, it's, it's pretty. So give me one second. I'm going to walk it over here and drop it down.
All right, I'm back. So I flipped it on the other side. Okay, so where that season part y'all yeah, just saw, I flipped it. So that can be on the bottom part cooking, so it can cook inside of the meat. I put my crock pot on 10 hours. I'm not in a rush for it. Probably the, oh, sorry, my bad y'all. Probably the burger or whatever I'm making we'll probably will eat later on tomorrow and then we'll have that for late night. So I'm not in a rush to eat it. So it can do its thing and take its time, okay? So I cook and clean at the same time. I am not a person that likes to cook, fuck up the kitchen and then clean it. No, I cook and clean at the same time, okay? And then my husband washes the dishes. I cook, he washes dish dishes and stuff like that. Teamwork make the dream work, okay? I said go to bed, you guys. So, I'm going to put some minced garlic in that. I'm going to cut up some bell peppers and things like that. So, give me a second, y'all. Okay. Okay. Garlic. All right, y'all. Yeah. So, minced garlic green bell pepper i don't think i have a red bell pepper garlic and i found some potatoes you guys these are uh, i have never tasted these i saw them in a the grocery store and they say heat and eat you just got to put it in a microwave for six minutes um and they're the garlic rosemary mini red idaho potatoes i love idaho potatoes they're really small the red ones i love them they're so good but you shake them up and you put them in the microwave. Well, because I'm doing my crock pot, I'm just going to go ahead and put them with that. I'm just going to put them in there. That's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go ahead and put them in there. Y'all tell me what what it did. Okay, so. If you would cook like me, then you have a special knife. Okay? My husband friend gave this knife to me. It is so pretty. It's so sharp. It's so nice. I don't know. Uh, he he worked at some restaurant out here in Las Vegas, some hotel uh, restaurant, and he's a chef, and so he gave this to me, and it cuts really good. I love the way it cuts, so I'm just going to cut a little bit of bell pepper. Normally, in a roast like this, I would do red and green, but I don't think I have red, so I got to work with what I got to work with. Okay, now y'all probably not going to be able to see all my steps to this because my time is going. But I will definitely show you guys the aftermath of it and what it looked like. So, okay, rinse this a little bit. Because if I knew how to edit, then I would edit it. And then it would take out the miscellaneous parts where I was talking to my kids and shit. <clears throat> but I don't know how to edit yet, so we're going to have to plug it out like this. So, I'm, I'm, I'm good with my green bell pepper. I'm going to cut a little bit more up just for flavor. Put some minced garlic and some real garlic in there and some onion. Okay, so hold on. Bam, a oh, bam. Drop that in there like that. Drop it in there like that, like that, like that. Oh, like that, like that. Garlic. Okay. Couple of garlic pieces. Flavor. Natural flavor. I love it. I also got minced garlic. Love it. I do. I keep them whole, y'all, because I like to bite it. Like with the juice. When it's in my juice, I like to just eat it and bite it. I love it. Are y'all garlic people like that? You let me know. When it's cooked real soft and then the meat juice. Oh my God, I love it. So I don't do all that cutting it because it takes it out its state and all that. Nah, nah, I like it like this. So this my garlic. Just a couple of, couple of big little cloves. Couple of big cloves. <clears throat> now onion. Okay. 
And like I said, I'm cooking this kind of fast because I'm tired, <laughs> okay? I am tired and I don't like for me to have to go back in the freezer or anything like that. If I take it out, I gotta cook it or either throw it away and that meat look too good to throw it away, okay? That's it. And so what I'm gonna do right now with that uh, my onion, what I'm gonna do right now, What I'm gonna do right now is um I don't know what I'm gonna make with that. Maybe I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna do I'm probably gonna make it and do ground beef meat or something. I don't know. I don't know. I'll figure that out. It's ground beef. You can do anything with ground beef. Okay, so now I'm cutting my onion up. Just a little bit of onion. Not a not a whole whole lot. You know what I'm saying? My kids really don't like bell peppers and onions. They don't like all that. So, but as long as it's like tucked in the meat and all that shit, they don't, they won't trip. So, but me and my husband love it. We love it, girl. Oh, we love it. We are onion, bell pepper, yellow bell pepper. I'm mad I don't have a red one. I'm missing some items, but it's still going to be flavorful. It's still going to be good. And it's still going to be a home-cooked meal, safe, away from people, corona, all that shit there. Okay? It's still going to be a good meal, period. Still cooking with love. Kids don't know. Belly warm. Okay? This is my onion. Okay. All right. So, now we're going to do, we did the garlic. We did the minced garlic. I mean, the, oh, shit. My husband got to come and open this. Honey, I need you to open this for me. Okay, when you have time, no rush. So this is a, so I clean as I go. And I put away as I go. That's probably what's taking up all my time. Okay, and I put it back. Now I'm done, put it back. And now I'm just waiting for the minced garlic that's all i'm waiting for so um hold on i gotta put some butter i don't know but when it comes to like dark meat like steaks roast uh roast beef roast um anything like that i use i like butter i like butter i it's something about butter on a steak it's something about butter on ro on a uh on a, on a roast. It's something about that. I don't know why. I just like it. So I put a little bit. Um, I can't believe it's not butter. I, I put a little bit in there. But this also is salty. So you got to be careful with the salt con content. Okay. Now I'm done with that. I'm going to do some um, garlic and herb. can't open nothing right now. Ooh. Wonder why, y'all. I don't know what is going on. Okay. Now, I'm going to put a little bit, just a little bit, because it's a heavy, sick type of meal. I'm going to put a little Italian seasoning, just a little bit, and a little bit of oregano. It's a very meaty, ready, thicky meat, so just kind of lightens up a little bit. That's me. I don't know how you do it, but that's how I do it. Okay, so for now, I'm done. For now, my seasonings is where I want it to be. I'm happy about it. Sorry, y'all. I'm happy about where my seasonings is. I told y'all I was going to put some... Shit. I told y'all I was going to put some garlic and herb. But I can't open that, so I got this garlic and herb. I'm going to use this one. It's the same difference. And I'm probably going to do a part two because my time is going okay. So I'll be back. <laughs> 